Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a first look, uh, unwrapping, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, of the new Lamy notebook. This is the soft cover version. Uh, so I'm going to show you the book, show you a bit about it, uh, and then I'll just do some like basic writing tests in it and show you what the paper's like. So I got the black here, which has the black elastic, as you can see it's all covered in the plastic. Uh, this is the soft cover version, um, which has the sort of the more sort of pronounced binding. Uh, see there the label it is 145 by 210 millimeters which is roughly um, a5 size for sake of comparison uh, here is the Leuchtturm 1917 so you know we are talking pretty much bang on uh, that that size so uh, Let's cover some uh, parts and stuff of the book. It says here on the back. So it's Lamy ruling, which I'll show you inside. 192 pages of 90 GSM ivory paper. Uh, eight perforated pages. It's got a pen loop, two ribbon markers, elastic band, uh, back paper pocket, thread stitching inner, ink proof paper, and acid free paper. Now that ink proof paper is what I'm interested in. What I'm also interested in is that it's FC, FSC approved, which means that it is paper uh, well, paper from rely from responsible sources, which is good. Um, so let's get the uh, the plastic off this, and uh, we'll see what it's all about. Okay, so the plastic is off. You can see there there is the pen loop. Uh, it's actually sort of slightly I don't know I don't want to say like a brown black, but it doesn't feel or look like a complete true black if you know you hold up against the Leuchtturm black there. It's sort of more charcoal, I suppose. Um, maybe it is charcoal. Maybe that's exactly what the colour it is. Uh, either way, I like it. Uh, now, take this belly band off. And, uh, let's see what it's about. Okay, so the paper. This is the Lamy line rule. So it's like these strong lines and then sort of grid dotted lines. So it gives you the options of having grid or line depending on what you are after, which is nice. So you open it up, we get a little, you know, name and address and all that sort of stuff. Lamy branding there. Some of the FSC stuff. It says uh, made in Italy by Lamy from Germany. And then we get the, the pages. Rounded corners, no page numbers or anything like that. And then in the back we get the pocket. So fairly good. Like, like it's not staying particularly open on its own, but I don't think that would be a difficult thing to crack in. You get it to sort of... Stay open relatively easily, I suppose, but we'll see how that goes. Here are the two ribbons. We've got a black and a very br bright fluoro sort of orange, uh, yellow green. Um, that's going to stand out. So, so this is the soft cover one, so it's a bit flexible. As per the hard cover is much more rigid. I'll show you one of those in a couple of weeks' time. Um, but let's do some writing in this book while we have it here. So I want to do like some basic tests with a few uh, different pens. So I got a couple of fountain pens and a couple of other things. So we'll start with things like Alami. We'll start with Alami two thousand. So here we have Alami two thousand with Diamine. Oxford blue and this is a medium nib but we all know the Lamy 2000 medium nib is quite well it's it's pretty wet next I have here the Twisby diamond 580 this is inked with Birmingham pens It's got South Side Market Boysenberry. This is also a medium, once again, quite a decent medium. Then we've got a couple of fines, a fine fine and then a not so fine fine. First fine fine is the Wingsun 699, so this is a fine. And the ink here is Diamine. This is the 150th anniversary set, Blood Orange. And then the other fine here is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age, which is a nice wet uh, fine. 
and this is inked with Mont Blanc. The Beatles, purple. One other last pen that I want to use in this is a Jinhao 992, but it's got a particular ink in it. So this is a Jinhao, oh, it always hard starts. Jinhao 992, fine. And the ink is Noodler's Bay State Blue. A good test for any paper. Okay, so those are the fountain pens. Now we'll just try a rollerball. I have a Retro 51 here. I have a Sharpie. Which needs to be replaced. Coming out. I have a Blackwing... Uh, volume 42, the recent one, which is the Balanced Graphite. Um, Pal Amino. I'm just going to do a scribble there because I'm going to test the erasing on this paper. And then I have a highlighter here. Just to test how that actually... Okay. So, last thing, the eraser. Uh, not terrible, like, you could probably do better than that, but I just, I don't, I'd like to see a basic erasion, er, eraser of it. So, face value, what have we got? Well, all the inks look okay on the page. There's no pronounced feathering, maybe a little bit up here from the Lamy 2000. But on the whole, pretty good. Uh, the colours look okay. This paper has a little bit of tooth to it. People have been comparing it to Leu to uh, Leuchtturm paper, and I think it's probably a fairly good um, assessment. Now, if we look at the reverse side, the fountain pens don't come through, apart from base tape blue, which is always going to come through. And of course, the Sharpie comes through, but that's an alcohol-based marker, so that's to be expected. So on the whole, this paper performs pretty well. I'm obviously interested to see how this book holds up. Um, the soft cover with the elastics, all that sort of stuff. Um, I definitely think this is the charcoal version, now that I think about it. Um, it's really nice. I like it. Uh, interesting that Lamy have started doing this, and I'm glad they have. So that was the Lamy softcover A5 notebook. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, uh, or you can comment on any of my videos here or whatever. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, uh, let me know. If there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your paper, and I'll talk to you later.